channel. I'm Renee, and I'm excited. I bought a new mixer. Well, actually, we bought two because Miss Tracy over here, if you can't see her, say hi. Hi. Don't give me that your camera shine on. You've been on camera too many times. <laughs> anyway, we bought mixers. I, you know, I've got my um, KitchenAid, but it's like 22 years old. And I bet you it's got 300,000 miles on it. Yeah. It, it. It grinds, it makes all kinds of noise, it bounces, and it's like, okay, I need a new one because I want to do a lot of bread videos and baking videos, and I just can't trust my KitchenAid anymore. But I didn't want to spend, because that was, I bought that 22 years ago. And I paid $279 for it way back then. So that was pricey then. And now the one that I was looking at that I just thought was just the cat's meow was a, uh, uh, it was like $699. Yeah, no. <laughs> Keep dreaming, sister. I'm not getting that one. So I bought this one that I'm getting ready to open up. This is the first time I've ever not had a KitchenAid. And this is not a product review, by the way. I'm not, you know, nobody sent this to me free. I paid for this. And I got a really good deal with this one. I am a Amazon Prime member because um, Miss Tracy likes to order a lot of stuff from Amazon. <laughs> oh, i got to blame somebody. Anyway, um, it was listed at, oh gosh, what was it, $178. And it's, it's fairly big. It's a nine, nine and a half quart one. So it's a good size for my family now. Um, it was listed at $178. And because I'm a Prime member, I got it for $148. And then I got another $20 coupon on top of that off. So out the door, I paid $131 for this machine. So I'm excited to see how it works. And I don't know if it's going to last 22 years, but, you know... But remember, there was there was a good uh, 10 years that I didn't use it very often because I was out driving semi over the road. So I wasn't home all the time. And I almost need a knife instead of scissors. They package this thing like this. Take the blade and throw it down. Go right down. Yep. Oh, you're smart. Look at that. I've been here all day with it. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I was out driving semi, so I didn't do a lot of baking at home because I was only home a couple days a month. So it was like 10 years I didn't use that. So the 12 years that I did use my KitchenAid, huh, I ran it ragged. I might need help with this. What do we got in here? We got, oh, look at this. Everyday cookbook. This thing is huge. Oh, my goodness. I love cookbooks. Look at this. That big old thick book. Come with it. Everyday cookbook. Can you hand me my glasses? This thing is nice. Family favorites. Look at the beautiful picture on the front. Let's see how many. Look at that. All kinds of stuff in here. Herbs and spices. All kinds of cookies and. Oh my gosh, that'll be a nice one. How many pages is this? Let's see. It is... Oh, they got a vintage gallery in here too. Superfoods. I don't see no page number yet. Tell where we are. Let me see. We're in the glossary. What in the world is a book without page numbers? Oh. That's funny. I think it's like 39. I think it's 80 pages without the glossary. Gosh, I like that. Oh, I'm going to have fun with that. We might even do some recipes out of this. The bread recipes. Friends, I love baking bread. Now, I don't do a whole lot of videos. I'm baking bread, and it's not because I don't have very many recipes or that I'm not fond of baking bread. 
I love to bake bread, but without a good mixer, it was it's, it's getting hard on my hands because I've got arthritis in my thumbs. So I had to slow down on it. But now that I got this, oh, the sky's the limit. I'll be doing bread baking workshops if I want. Let's see. I've got to slide this on here. And it always does that. Can you pull that box out of it, darling? Oh, this thing is beautiful. Oh, look at it. I've got a spatula in there. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. We got a nice big spatula with it. Oh, it's a nice, that's a nice one. Okay. Let's get this on here. That looks like a lid. Oh my goodness. This is a dandy, friends. Let me throw this all in here. Usually when I rip something open like that, you get so excited you're getting something new. Looks like Christmas morning all over the floor. Look at that. That's a nice lid. Okay, let's see here. Oh, by the way, I believe this is called a cook lid. Cook lid. Look at that bowl on there. How nice. It's taped. And this side looks to stuck on there. Okay. Isn't that nice? What's on the, oh, I'm on the cord. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Oh look at oh how nice. It's got a little latch that push it down. Flips up. Oh, isn't that? How nice is that? The dial on the side. Look at that big bowl. That thing is enormous. That's nine point nine and a half quart. I'm gonna have a ball with this, Tracy. Nice big whisk. And it's all stainless. Nice, it's heavy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. Oh, look at that beautiful dough hook. Nice dough hook with it. I don't feel like metal. It just feels like aluminum. And we got a nice big pad. I want one of those. I'm going to see if these have them. I know the... Um, KitchenAid. They have one with the rubber that scrapes the bowl as it mixes. That's what I'd like to have because this doesn't quite scrape the bowl. But this dough hook, that dough hook is beautiful. Look at that bowl. That is nice. I think I don't think it's stainless. It's aluminum, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not cooking it. I'm, I'm mixing it. In. So... Let's see here how this goes. Let me show you. Let me move this down. Let me show you the side of it. Oh, it sticks right down. Look at it. Sticks right to your right to your countertop, so it doesn't doesn't slide around. Look at listen. Yeah, isn't that nice? And then you got all your dials here. It goes all the way up to ten. And then you got a pulse on it where you can pulse it. That's sweet. All right, we're gonna slide this around so I can. I gotta turn this all the way around. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a ball with this. We're baking bread this weekend. This will be nice. Let's see how does this. Okay, I see how. And it turns. It locks in that way. And then you can get the bowl right in there with it. The bowl goes there. And the bowl locks in. Comes down. It's got a lid for it. That is so nice. 
You could use the lid, but you'd need to put that on beforehand. But that way I could take the lid off and point my camera right in the bowl so they can see what's going on. Is nice. I like the lid on that. You can put coffee or um, you can put flour in and have it mixing so it doesn't go all over. I got to give it a good washing, but that is a sweet, sweet little mixer, friends. Oh, how nice is that? Yeah. Probably goes right on that just like so. Okay. I never had a mixer. My my kitchen aid didn't have a lid, so yeah, there we go. And it does fit. It fits nice. Did you see that? How it goes on there? It slides on this part. Oh yeah, I like this. I think I'll be quite happy with this. The spatula and a real nice cookbook, and you got one just like this. This is just simple. And that's what I like. I like simple and affordable. And you know what? If you are interested in this, I'll leave a link to where I bought it. Because I did buy it on Amazon. I, I buy nearly everything on Amazon. And I should add a storefront to my Amazon for all the things that I use on my homestead, in my kitchen, bacon, canning, all that. That would probably help a lot of um, my friends on YouTube. So, anyway, guys, that's it. And it really is a nice one. And it is called the Cook Lead. And again, this is not by any means a product review because I didn't get this free. This was not sent to me by the company. I did pay for this with hard earned money. So, it's got little, uh, what is this, this get started? Got, oh, it's even got recipes in here. Isn't that something? I like um, um, appliances that come with recipe books. Did you ever get an air fryer or an appliance with no recipe book or and just basically know nothing to it? Not even a startup guide? Oh, you can get, you can get parts for this, too. You can get, oh, that's not this one. This one doesn't have it. You can't get parts for this one. This one is just strictly the mixer. Okay. The only thing you got with this is the lid, but you might be able to get different paddles and you can get replacement parts anyway. Oh, yeah, I like this. Okay. Well, you know what, friends? We're going to go. I'm going to put this up on my counter so I can get it um, all cleaned up. And we're going to do some bread tomorrow. And uh, we'll start doing some bread baking workshops and do some more bacon. Baking. It's got sugar cookies, sour cream, coffee cake. Oh, we could do a couple of simple yeast rolls. Look at that. Linseed bread rolls. Basic white bread, Italian herb bread. Oh, that might be neat to try. All right. Well, I won't keep you, friends. This is really nice. This is a beautiful little mixer for a very affordable price, and I certainly hope that it lasts me many years to come. So there you have it, friends. You all have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow and get ready for some bread.